vlog. I literally rolled out of bed. I made Abby's breakfast. And she's still in bed. It's 9 o'clock. I just was doing little chores around the house. And before I start my day, I like to demold. But I'm going to demold two of the big pieces for the main channel, which is the moon. And the plumeria heart. So I'll do that in a second. But I'm going to do the demoting for those with my big piece I created yesterday and I'm gonna put makeup on so I figure I come to the workbench to demold for the vlog channel I really like this this is so pretty this pink pink always sells whenever I have a pair out of these monster earrings they're so cute so oh that is so cute the stars, I always like to have like a star for the new week because they sell. They do sell. I always sell star keychains. So if I have any leftover resin, I like to make star keychains. And why is this mold? I just ruined the mold now. I don't know how long I had this mold. Molds don't last forever. It is what it is, but I was able to make another white pair. This light is probably making me look awful. I mean, I literally rolled out of bed. I made a bookmark with the extra resin. studs and they're very tiny so the tinier the mold is the more difficult it is to make because you have to have a steady small pour it's not easy cactus so yes yeah, so I do need to put makeup on so I can demold the big pieces and then I can start fresh all over again I also would like to go to Trader Joe's so I can get my focaccia bread for the weekend for vending. I made some little pink monstera studs and I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna want it. Allergies acting up first thing in the morning. Now what I'm gonna have to also do before I pour is clean all my stir sticks and cups from last night. Hold the trinket tray. I always like to have one in the shop. It always sell. People tend to like this particular tray. I mean, I always have somebody picking it up and inquiring about it and eventually sells. But I like to put ferns in it. I'm trying to be careful with my fingers because I still feel the gashes healing. Came out perfect. So cute. Very, very cute. Hmm, what a good haul. Alright, so I'm gonna put on some makeup. I'm gonna demold the three big pieces the circle piece, the moon, and the heart. Clean all the molds and start all over again and make more art. <laughs> So I demolded, I did some light makeup for that video for the main channel, so that was good. Now I'm going to eat my Trader Joe's quiche. It's easy for me to eat because I literally put it in my oven for half an hour while I'm doing chores. I watered the collection, filled the fountain. I'm uploading Thursday's video that I filmed and edited yesterday. I want to go to Trader Joe's get some things there that I want for the weekend like my bread for my sandwich and I'm gonna come home and make some art and I'll probably take Epi down to the beach for a sunset 
since it's already 10 o'clock. Perfect. 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 So all these are up for sale. I did a really clear glittery micro glitter background. It came out perfect. So pretty. So these pieces are up for sale, but the moon and the heart I'm going to turn into sun catchers. All right, 70s and sunny for the week. 60s at night. That is perfect weather. Look at this. So we're going to go to Trader Joe's and then I'm going to come home, make art, edit. And then right before sunset, we'll go down to the beach for a workout. Here we go, my neighborhood, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's was busy. I got a few new things to try out since I'm here for the rest of the month. And I'm gonna be having a long weekend of vending. But I got the things that I like for my sandwich, so that's good. It is a few minutes after 11. I am gonna go home, share the haul, put everything away, and then pour my first batch of art for the day. Somebody's excited because she wants to get a carrot. That's like her routine. As soon as we come home, she knows that she gets to get a carrot for being mommy's bestest helper. Let's go. Come on. Come here, sit. All right. So, let's share what I got. Love this. So I got two packs of that. I got my Plan B bread because the one I've been getting, they discontinue. But this one is still focaccia and it's sliced. Something new, watermelon fruit spread. I don't know. They got me on this one. Wanted to try that. With what? I'm not sure. Avocado. I'll be here long enough to eat these when they are ripen. Okay, treating myself to some strawberry mochi and here we go. Mancha green tea. I've never tried this from Trader Joe's before, but I love matcha green tea ice cream. But I like their strawberry mochi ice cream. Waffles for the weekend. Or I'll make oatmeal. Something new for me. Chickenless mandarin orange marsos. This would be good sauteed with broccoli, which I don't have. But figure I try it because it's chickenless. My favorite. The mahi mahi burgers. I like to have that with one slice of focaccia bread. And then for the outside of the other, instead of having another slice of bread, I like to have the plantain. But this is the only bag left. I hope they don't discontinue it because it's round like a patty and I like it to sub for a slice of bread. So I got two of these. I got two of the mushroom quiche and two of the broccoli. I like both. I just had this for breakfast. And then something new for me. Yes, baby. I never tried this before. There's four of them in here. And then I've never tried this before. So these are like for late nights if I'm like busy editing or making art and I don't have time. And then I always like to spend a little more extra like a few dollars for the fresh squeezed orange juice if I buy juice because I'm rarely I'm home to buy juice. So I like to spend a few more dollars to get orange juice freshly squeezed. So that is my crazy haul. Good job, baby. Okay, everything is in the freezer. I'm gonna throw these boxes out. I don't like to keep them in the freezer. I'm in the middle of looking at my dry booms and I'm going to do my next big piece. I just finished cleaning my stir sticks and cups. I have all of the cactus blooms in here. But Tanya's first bloom for the season is here and I think this may be the best one yet but I have to be very careful because I see already a tear here so I'm gonna do this off camera because I'm always nervous when I do the dry blooms I never really feel myself because I'm like holding my breath and stressed out so I'll give myself a moment to do this and I'll be right back okay. this is gorgeous 
uh, the bottom of the bloom is still holding moisture so I'm gonna have the bottom in silica gel but I need to pull out all of the blooms from here but look at how gorgeous this is oh my I'm so proud of myself there's my Hoya blooms that I put in yesterday perfect Perfect begonia blooms. vlog it is a quarter to two it's 142 I just finished filming for the main channel pouring all of those big art pieces and it feels good to be able to walk away from my bench because I was there for a while but I'm looking forward to demoting the pieces tomorrow if I continue to be on it pouring every four hours and I'm also recharging my silica gel throughout the whole day because my oven is small I made me my mahi mahi patty and I have onion so onion and then my plantain and then my focaccia bread with veganese so I'm gonna eat this I would love to do a planting with Julian because I want to plant up the plants that I got at the Rose Bowl but I didn't even film a plant haul so I can't plant so I guess it'll have to wait my Thai Constellation Monstera is giving a new leaf, thank goodness, because the leaves on it, the adult leaves, are browning. I don't know if that's um, a characteristic of the Thai Constellation, but when I traveled, I came back and they were browning. My elbow, no problems, no browning. I don't know what to say, but I was shocked to see that this morning. I'll share with you in a second what the Thai Constellation looks like. I'm going to eat. I hope Trader Joe's don't discontinue this planting because I like using it for my sandwich because I don't like to have two pieces of bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is 4.30 and I'm taking an Ebby break because I'm just done editing for this channel. And I'm about to pour my second layer of resin. And then I think after that, we are going to go to the beach to work out. And then come back, make my dinner, and then pour the third batch of resin. So I think that's what we're going to do. So time to go to the workbench. But first, I needed to come see my love bug and check on her. She's just been like in bed all day. You didn't even eat your breakfast. But it maybe once we go to the beach, it'll cheer you up for some appetite. Hmm? You want to go see the beach? You want to go see the sunshine? I think so. Okay, here we go. Pour number two of the day. Right, so with my leftover resin after I did the second pour, I made a begonia crustula ovata heart with ferns. So finally got to do something with the begonia blooms. I made another botanical moon and I just made some moon earrings and a glittery monster. The beach, it is 5.40 p.m. and 74 degrees sunny, perfect weather. All right, free parking after six, so that works out on the street. I'm gonna find me a patch to dance in this parking lot because they're working out of here. Maybe I'll walk more to the end and then dance. My little munch can get some exercise. Good girl. Wendy, I just finished dancing in this parking lot. I'm gonna stretch a little bit and then we're gonna walk towards Venice and loop around so Ebby can get some exercise. Quarter after seven, I have my silica gel back in the oven. 
washed my dishes i warmed up my leftovers from the other night i made two pieces of salmon so this is the other one the leftover roasted potatoes and then my corn on the cob so i'm gonna eat this shower and pour pour number three no it's too early and you only ate your breakfast two hours ago you're not having dinner tonight you need to finish your breakfast before anything go eat your breakfast So I ended up putting a uh, different soft food, her chicken roll, and her leftover breakfast, and she ate everything all. So it's almost 8 p.m. I have my tea going, will help me stay up, and then I'm gonna pour layer number three. Cutie right, pie. Quarter after nine, and I've just finished my third pour. So this piece is done. I don't mind if there's like little parts of the piece sticking out because it's still covered in resin so it's fine i like the piece as thin as possible so i will demode all of these tomorrow morning but i'm looking forward for these to the begonia heart with the crescilla ovata and the stapelia okay vlog it is 11 o'clock and i'm just done editing for this channel so i think Today, I was able to edit two videos for the vlog channel, I believe. I got to pour three times. I got to go to the grocery store, go to the beach for a workout, and dry some of my, recharge my silica gel. Some of it, not all of it, because I'm using a lot right now, covering blooms. But that takes a while because every 30 minutes i go in put a new batch in put it because my oven is small did i do anything else i feel like i did more things but yeah i was able to edit two videos for the vlog channel so i feel happy about that and pour three times so i think that was a very productive day and i'm glad i was able to create some big pieces today so that is going to wrap up today's video that was pretty productive uh, work from home day for youtube and my small business and tomorrow i do have my client of the day that i have to teach but i plan on doing everything i did today tomorrow plus teach because we're gearing up for vending weekend and vending weekend i want to make sure i have things to work on while i'm sitting there especially if, since i'm going to do the bazaar i don't know how busy it picked up from not being there for two months or so i'm kind of curious to see if the foot traffic is different i definitely know it's going to be hot down in that dungeon and i want to also make sure i edit a lot because on vending weekends i don't edit i may pour but that's about it but tomorrow i would also like to take photos of some art and post them for sale along with some of my work dresses so give this day in a life a thumbs up we did a lot today and i'm glad that i had like leftovers to warm up but tomorrow i want to make vegan chili because i haven't had that for a while and i can't wait to make more big pieces tomorrow and i have a big mold coming tomorrow that i want to pour into whenever it arrives so thank you guys so much for hanging out with evie and i we got to go down to the beach today it felt good to dance and just be by the ocean and having Abby and i take a break from working from home because literally this is what she does while i'm at home working and i feel really bad for her but yeah there's a lot of things that are sitting in silica gel that i have to check first thing in the morning because i don't want to over dry them so we'll pick up a day in our life tomorrow i hope you guys enjoy hanging out with us here in santa monica the weather is perfect 70s and sunny during the day 60s at night i like hearing the fountain having the windows open and the fresh air just makes me so happy so thank you guys so much for supporting the vlog channel i will see you tomorrow until then subscribe to the vlog channel if you're new i do daily vlogging and between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day and you get to see the little munchkin 
she's so good and i will see you soon until next time good night from santa monica california from ebby and i